Hello, it's the Mighty Marvel Show, and I'm Paul, and it's Marvel Legend time. It's still Spider-Man's birthday. It's still 60 years of Spider-Man because of 2022, unless you're watching it in the future, or in the past, and well done if you're watching it in the past. Now, we've talked about the amazing Fantasy 15 Spider-Man version right here. On a recent video, I've also looked at Null and Venom 2-pack. <clears throat> now, in the next batch of Spider-related figures, have all dropped here in the UK at the same time. Iron Spider, a particular Marvel Comics favourite of mine. I'm a huge Marvel Comics fan, and I love, love, love this costume from the comics. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love this one. This is from the 2007 Civil War series, which pitted Iron Man against Captain America and then both their factions all because of the uh, the Superhuman Registration Act where there was a big incident involving some uh, heroes and new warriors and it caused a, uh, a big disaster where people lost their lives and so it was about the government regulating superheroes. You know all this because you've probably seen the movie the Civil War that's similar themes to it but this was the Iron Spider costume that Peter Parker was given by Tony Stark in that comic book series. He then turned against Stark because he went public with his identity. He turned against Stark and joined Captain America's team, got a right old pasting and was saved by the Punisher. That's all. Go and read the comics. I won't spoil the whole story, but go and read the comics because it's an awesome series. But this costume came from that series and it was fantastic. So I thought I'd take a look at this in a bit more detail today because I've got some gripes, of course. I try and keep it positive. I've got some gripes that go with this particular release. And I'm gonna talk about them right now. First issue, artwork. I'll, I'll get over it soon, I promise. But I'm only just starting to get these new plastic-free packaging boxes. I support the plastic-free, apart from a little non-plastic window, there are solutions for that. But again, my other gripes with this are artwork. There's no artwork by this little in the background image of the costume here from the comic. There's no artwork that went from this comic book series. And that's part of the whole selling point, I think, for these figures. To show you where it's from in the first instance. If it's the MCU, you see the character, you know, from the movie. But there are four sides to this box. And all you've got is this. And this is awesome artwork, by the way. This is so sweet. But there's so much great artwork from that Civil War series. And then Spider-Man came on wearing this costume for one. Then he went back into his black suit costume after that. But there's so much great artwork related to this costume. They're just missing a trick. Either put it there and then that's your feature point for the box. Or do both sides with different artwork. Or I think do it on the back because then you've got the figure here. My preference would be artwork on the front. That's what you're getting. Then on the back you've got the figure because it equally tells you about the accessories on the back there for what you've got. And that is my next point. Accessories. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to take a proper look. But this was 35 quid in the UK. 35 quid okay is less plastic so it should be cheaper to produce it's a brand new figure that we've not had for, for for many many years and there is just one extra set of hands thwip hands where's this blade hands gone yes i've got other figures that i could use this blade hands for sure and one of them is right there you've got the captain america 20th anniversary but come on just put the splayed hands in. We know you're making it now. All the other figures are getting them. Just put splayed hands in. Because the thing is, this looks a slightly different red than what you've got on this cap here. So it's not going to match as well. So put £36. That's almost double what the standard price of a Marvel Legends figure was this time a few months ago. So let's give us more. Yes, you've got the spider arms that come with it. Sure, of course. But you're getting it anyway because that's part of the character. Give us the extra hands. Or give us a head. Give us a Peter Parker head as well or give us different eyes that go with it as well anyway gripes over but 36 pound that's one of my biggest problems with it i hope the figure's awesome so now i'm gonna have a look right these days the plastic free packaging boxes they are easier to open slip the seller tape off there and the one at the bottom so they are easier to open but again with these things again at the top yes i know they hang them up there but honestly just give us gi joe boxes beautiful just perfect look perfect square bottle rectangular box flat 
stack easily. You can stack them on top of each other on the shelves if need be. You can cut that little plastic hook off that sees them hanging up easily. It's job done. Anyway, oh, I'm going to stop griping. Sorry, trying to stay positive. £36. Anyway, so open the box up. What have we got? Let's take that out. Okay. Box done. We're in our plastic free packaging again. Let's open this out. Okay. So there's the spider legs, spider arm tentacles at the back there. Are they tentacles? Why does they have tentacles? I don't know. There's the spider arms at the back. Open up. Figure out. Let's check there's nothing else in there. Okay. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy paper. Here's our figure. Somewhere there's hands. Hmm. Somewhere there's hands. I'll find a hand in a minute. Okay, right. First impressions. It's a good red. Isn't it keeping coming? Oh, it moves well. Just got to do the obvious. There he is, put in there now. Just gonna do a little bit of warming up with this figure and then we'll start moving in and posing around. And equally, I've got to find the hands. <laughs> Buried at the bottom of the box, right at the back, were the hands. This was about to be a very different video, believe me. This was about to be, a, are you kidding me, Hasbro? Where's the hands? But I found the hands. So let's just quickly crunchy, crunchy, crunchy them out of the bag. So yeah, okay. So. There we go. There's our whip thwip hands. And then here are our spider legs. Okay, so gonna give them a little warm as well. Let's get them on the figure and let's go. Right, I've warmed him up and here he is. Okay, so I've put two of his spider arms in already. Take a quick look at one of these. So they have two points of articulation, one at the end, which is the joint that goes into the figure. And then at the top end, they have another one there. Now, it would have been really great to have had the middle part there articulate, but it doesn't. So, so they're always gonna be that high on the figure. So you can't really get them right in around him. In terms of how they go in the back already, so there are these sockets on the back there that you can see right in there like that, okay? And then they're similar to hands, but a bit a bit chunkier, see on there as well. And then they just push straight in to that bit. And there you go, and then they sit, they push right in on there. And they also move around within swivel side to side to side. So, so there is Spidey. The figure itself, let's just uh, get him out of, out of that pose. So the figure itself, um, I like the feel to it. It is a nice, softer plastic. Uh, the similarities to the, I will need to check the similarities to the Spider-Man 2029 figure, the recent release one, which is out of the retro uh, animated series wave, which I wasn't overly keen on because articulation isn't good. This body is much better. This actually does a good ab crunch. You get right down, crunch right up into that into that position over there. There you go, look at that, right right over into that position. And it goes back as well. So head goes right back, which is great. And then it goes right back. So that is excellent. So in terms of flying through the, flying through the air, that's good. So there was some really good uh, posing on him. I stuck a thwip thwip hand on him there as well. And you've got, so you've got double, double knees, go back that far. The hinge is quite decent on the, on the foot. But it can't get the thigh, it doesn't drop out. So you can't get the thigh up any higher than that, which is a bit of a shame because you really want to get him into that, you know, as we all love doing with our Spider-Man Marvel Legends, is you want to get that thigh right up and get it tucked right in under his under his body, really. So that is a bit of a um a missed trick on there. But to be honest, well that was popped out because it didn't have it in well enough. That was the one I was just talking about. So there we go, straight back, straight back in. Um in terms of how he stands on these, yeah, you can sit him onto sit him onto these. You can just get the right angle. Those again, they so would have liked the fourth point of articulation on them. I do like the color scheme. It is very accurate to the comics. It's almost like more of a sort of 
bordering on the sort of pink type style of it and i just i really love this this costume so yes i love a spider-man figure so i'm really pleased to get this i've i've missed out on previous iron spider versions and i really really love this so i am i am pleased to get it there are some major missed opportunities with it though and that is extra hands and maybe a head and an extra articulation point on the uh spider arms here so missed opportunities i think that's uh that that's a real shame i am going to enjoy it i am going to have fun with this i'm going to probably get it up on the shelf at the back there probably on a stand and obviously make use of the spider arms because they're quite a quite a feature for that as well um but a missed opportunity i think that i think they could have done a bit more and 36 pound i'm gonna say again 36 pound seriously i would have expected more in the box at least another head definitely another pair of hands i mean i thought that was standing now i thought we moved past it i thought it was standing now i know it's a first world problem but it's my first world so i'm just moaning about it so missed opportunity but there we go let me know if you're getting this i'm really keen to know what what you think about it and how you find it in terms of the articulation and the hands and and these uh these spider arms as well let me know Drop it in the comments, of course. I love having a chat with you, one of you guys. And thank you all so much to subscribe and you do put comments in. There's a great conversation. I really enjoy it. Do like and subscribe if you're not already. That'd be fantastic. Thanks very much. So I'm off to go and cry about the fact this is £36. See you next time. Bye for now.